Hey Libra, how's it going? I've got a love reading to do for you. This is a timeless love reading. Um, first intuitive channeled message or feeling that came with this is don't rush something. Okay. Um, I feel like there's an, like, I wanted to, I did start this video, honestly, about 15 minutes ago and did not feel centered or focused because I was like trying to play with the matrix and timing. Like the sun is setting in Louisiana and it just was providing this light that was like on my table here. I mean, you could still see it through my blinds, right? But the way that it was lit up was just like, oh. and then I immediately thought, oh, I got to do a Libra love reading. I don't know why. You know, and so I started doing it and it just didn't feel right. It just fucking didn't feel right, y'all. Like, and I'm honest like that. And so there's something about that. Like, maybe you're sensing and waiting for like this ideal, like perfect moment or something, you know, with a sunset and the lighting and all that. And I'm just like, scratch that. <laughs> like, I just felt like it was a setup almost like, and I was like, mm. I mean, as what I did was I laid down and I centered for a bit and I listened to some beautiful music without words. Okay. And, um, now I feel ready to do this. And so, yeah, I feel like it's purposeful to see me with stripes right now. <laughs> Maybe you feel like tied up in a situation like me in stripes is, is like, like in jail or something, you know, feeling locked, closed, I don't know, like the stripes though, but also like it really like wearing your darkness, wearing your shadow, you know, like, and it's this and that dark and light. <laughs> so funny. So always purposeful, right? Always purposeful. So I do, I am going to save the love notes that came out with the last reading. Okay. But then I'd like to go through and get you an Oracle card. Um, and also, like, maybe some of my new tarot, the Revelations tarot that I've been using, um, and getting used to that deck and see what wants to come out for your love situation. So, welcome, Libra. I love you guys. Remember to do all the things. Give me some love back. Share the video. Comment below. Like it. Watch it all the way through. This is how you can help to get the messages out. And that's what this is about. Okay? This is timeless in general. So, like, take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't try to make it fit. You know, I could do a personal private reading for you. So just reach out to me. I don't know how to let you go. This is a black and white card. I don't know how to let you go. Okay. You could be transitioning from, you know, like a long relationship that you had. A person that's been in your life for a while. It's black and white. Yeah. I don't know how to trust you again. Ooh. Purple. Okay. So that's about our thoughts and about our third eye, the purple, and it's a telepathic connection. So you're either learning, like if you're not in a relationship right now, Libra, you're learning how to trust yourself again within a connection or with trust your own instincts, trust your own intuition. I don't know how to, but there's trust that's been broken within a relationship, but you also don't know how to let them go. You can leave your hat on yellow energy this is this person makes you feel super confident and really good about yourself sun shiny yellow vibe energy solar plexus feeling good in your own skin enough to strip that's what this song makes me feel like a little strip tease i always say it takes me back to the movie true lies with arnold schwarzenegger in it. And Jamie Lee Curtis doing a little, oh man, well she, she did a sexy strip tease, my ear itches with that. So you can leave your hat on, baby, take off your clothes, whatever, I don't know, real slow. Okay, it's very romantic. This person, <clears throat> yeah, makes you feel a certain sort of way about yourself too is sunshine to you you can leave your hat on um let's see if anything else comes out with that right now i'm not getting anything else but that visual sweet release 
could be released in a relationship and it even though you don't really know how to you are releasing it because there's some trust issues it's a the pink is a heart healing by the way here's another purple card and, and maybe you're releasing a lot of emotions too is the release a sweet release it's bittersweet feeling okay pay attention to your intuition with eyeballs there libra <laughs> I don't know how to trust you again. Yeah, you are learning about uh, lessons about your intuition. Absolutely, it come out here twice. What else is this black and white? This person prays for you. I pray for you. This and that. Yep, this and that. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> I was talking about earlier, you know, sometimes it's good times, sometimes it's bad times, it's a little of this, it's a little of that. Earth sign you could be dealing with, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Oh, now we're going to come out with for my silly Libras with some titties, titties, titties. You like them titties? We're going to put it. <laughs> we're going to put it over here. Love your titties. No matter what shape. Especially if you had a baby. Love them. Love your man boobs. They're beautiful. Titties. You gotta say it like this so you smile. Now say it with me. <laughs> okay. It reminds me of a meme. I don't know why, but it, a Charlie Brown meme is coming through. And, uh... Charlie Brown talking to Snoopy about the best things in life, and it's like titties and beer or something like that. I would say weed. Anyways, um, can we please start over? Somebody would like a start over. A, yeah, maybe it's this earth sign. I'm going to leave it over here. Somebody wants to start over because they don't know how to let you go. Yeah, there's a hair on my cards here. That's an entanglement, possibly. Okay. They still pray for you. Just say anything. Oh, I love this one. This is uh, sharing your love language through music because it's, that's reminding me of John Cusack in that movie where he holds up the boombox. You know, it's a very romantic gesture there in music. When you have a loss of words, which I, I don't think that a Libra usually does, but music speaks volumes is what this is saying. And romantic gestures and sharing music. It what is what comes out there. Okay. Your words paint the canvas of my soul. Oh. Can we get a dinger with that? I love it. So opening your throat chakra. Okay. Somebody is being super. Someone has some really romantic, deep feelings here is what I, uh, and they're very endearing. John Cusack, I always thought was very endearing in that movie. Like, he didn't give a fuck. Go meet the parents. Sure, I'm going to talk about anything and everything I want because I am completely, totally cool with who I am. Oh, and I see a leap of faith coming up for somebody. Oh, a leap of faith. Mm, I love that shit. It's pretty black and white. It's pretty clear. It's clear that somebody wants to start over. Mm -hmm. But a black and co white card is like there's not a lot of comp. There's no compromise. So... We shall see. So, you'll know if I'm tuning in. Uh, you'll already know if this is your reading. So, you know. I'm going to put those cards away there. And let's get an oracle message out from you from Whispers of Love. What should Libra focus on? This timeless love reading. Well, that came out fast. The Union of Hearts. Oh, darlings. They're giving you. Oh, that was fast. Two becoming one here. This is a divine connection here. Yep. Yellow energy again. Card 28, which is a 10 and an ending and a new beginning. A love connection that defies explanation. You just, this would be somebody that you're just magnetically drawn to. Like, and you just don't even, like... It's so real. It's, you so know it. It's it's like there's never any doubt. It's just yeah. Two becoming one. It feels uh, soulmate connection. It feels 
yeah, like Divine's hands at play. There's lots of little wrens up in the tree. Um, this is a divine connection. Sometimes you just like those weird telepathic, like I'm itching my head. Yeah, because they're making me do that right now, like rubbing my head. Like, so you think about this person and then they message you or um, weird. Um, I don't know, just weird things that you have in common that you're realizing. And you're just being magnetic. It's, it's a beautiful love connection that's being depicted here. These are tree dryad, dryads, I think. And the blossoms on the bottom, you know, it also speaks to a uh, balance happening within you, uh, the feminine and the masculine here. So I'm going to leave this up right in front of my, um, yeah, right in front of my rose quartz globe. I was just noticing my. I'm all in the sun now. I'm in the sun. It's kind of blinding me, but let's get into your tarot. What? 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 What do we gotta? What's uh Libra's energy like? I'm tongue tied. What are y'all doing to me, Libras? Ah, all these cards flying all over the place. So we've got the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay. It's like, uh, you're figuring out reciprocity and what's in relationships. Six of cups reversed. Yep. Yep. And now I've got the page of cups. That's an emotional message coming. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Page of cups. In the upright, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And the sun. Ah! Beautiful message about happiness coming. And children even being depicted in here twice. Six of Cups is not a, a nostalgia for the past. Those cards all fell over here, Libra. That is my past area. This is what you've been dealing with in the past, possibly. Past energies. Page of Cups could be an apology. I feel like you were dealing with... Six of Cups reverse. I just need to go to in the book and read this to you real quick. It's very short and brief. He is haunted by disturbing memories of the past. Okay. There's baby seahorses here. And seahorses are an energy of, up here in the top, okay, of watch and wait. Everything is in perfect divine timing. Okay. Here are the memories of the past cause more grief than happiness. Bad experience haunt and torment you while you sleep in your waking hours. Issues such as these need to be resolved before you can properly move on. Relationships may crumble under the pressure of previous indiscretions. One partner might not let the other partner go. Old flames and exes come back to pester and annoy. Past failures at work resurface to tor torment you. So yeah, it's that. It was, I, can't, I don't know how to let you go. Came out with the love notes, right? So it's like one partner not able to let go because there's still a lot of feelings. You That's that sunshine energy. It, you could be dealing with a Leo now. Uh-huh. And the Page of Cups. I just want to read that one to you real quick. It is in the upright. She rejoices in her cup. It represents her intuition, which she holds dear to her. I already to talk to you about that. So, yeah. Is in this in in situations, this card represents the beginning of an emotional time when the self needs to be explored and understood before moving forward. Okay, here you may find yourself in the infancy of love or happiness in a relationship, or relearning what it is to bear your emotions to others. And maybe you have this this feeling, this need of sharing your emotions, your past emotions. With this new love con connection coming in too, I feel the sun and this just feel like there's just so much sunshiny happiness, magnetic energy here. I've never read this sun card, so hold on. That's like the best card in the damn deck, by the way, Libra. Mm-hmm. That's vitality. That's health. That's happy life, happy home. Having more than enough. The sun illuminates the path to happiness and good tidings. They are happy within and with the current situation. 
Okay. It's like you're finding your happiness within and it is being reflected on the outside as well. And also like it's because you've gone through and processed your emotion. A page though is an um, is a young is a young energy, honestly. Yeah, learning how to deal with your emotions. Balance their emotions. Yeah. And learning how what reciprocal energy is and um learning to let go of situations that no longer feel good to you libra is coming out as well you're feeling what feels good what feels good is the sun okay what else for libra what else for libra i'm sorry i didn't look at that underlying energy yeah. don't rush like answers will come when you don't rush i rushed and i didn't see that underlying energy that i will i really wanted to see two of swords yeah, two of swords in the reverse. Look at that, two of swords. Leave that up as I explore these cards here. Eight of wands. So a lot of messages, a lot of movement, uh, fire, energy coming out now into the reading. Okay? A lot of passion. Knowing what you're passionate about. Eights are harmony. Yes, harmony. Movement. Thy priestess, oh, shawl. It's about trusting your intuition. And, oh, like, she trusts divine timing, high priestess. Also, about, like, the sense of mystery and secrecy that comes with the high priestess and keeping some information close to you, okay? And absolutely, it's about your intuition and trusting your gut and trusting in timing. And trusting um, when to move, when to make your move. This is cancer energy coming in. This is the chariot in this deck. In the upright. Movement. There is so much movement here. you got to trust that you'll know when to move. The high priestess with these two cards. Yeah. And so let's talk about the chariot and the um, aspect of a relationship. Okay. I feel like I'm seeing seahorse energy again. Hmm. Maybe you've got cancer in your chart. That's why it's coming out if you're tuning into this reading. Okay. He wins the race after traveling far and wide to achieve his goals. The crowd behind him roars as, a, as the scale of his accomplishes reaches new heights. Okay. This is, in terms of a situation, this card is a vehicle for good news from distant places and friends. It represents support that can come in many forms, including verbal, physical, and spiritual, all which guide you on a path toward victory. This also yeah, refers to a person that fights to the very end. Um, they can serve as a positive role model and inspire you to persevere through difficult times. And success was in is within this person's grasp. Okay. It also heralds a positive outcome through a current struggle or difficulty. This card indicates a victory felt through emotion. The seahorses will also add a layer of meaning to this card as a water card. Yeah, they're seahorses again. The city in the background represents the monumental achievement the rider of the chariot has won. His face is not one of immense joy or elation, for he knows that he has struggled far to reach this point. He deserves this victory. He, You deserve this sunshine. You deserve this happiness. Okay? And the two of swords. It's about making a choice, making a decision, no longer lying to yourself about a situation. Okay, I want to, two of swords, eight of cups, leaving a situation behind that no longer fulfills eight of cups. A lot of emotional healing I'm seeing in here. Three of cups, a time for celebration and the devil energy underlying here in the reverse. Yeah, so... Reverse is about releasing toxicity, even codependency habits, patterns, old versions of yourself, right? Being tested 
Uh huh. And and even possibly a struggle or a loss or a breakup. I don't know what it is, but the tower, the uh, the devil was underlying there. So let's see here. Can you clarify this? Uh, wow, already wanting to come out. Hoppy cards. Clarify the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here in this situation? Damn, and she, that card just landed on um, my a big chunk of amethyst here. Maybe you need to get a big chunk of amethyst. Justice. I love it. I love it. Fairness, balance. Libra, you coming out here to clarify, just trust yourself. What you're put into a situation is going to come back to you, okay? Um, balancing of power. She holds the sword of power, okay? Here. I'm kind of curious as to the key term on this justice card. I don't have that memorized. Eight. You got another eight here, by the way. It's a meeting. High Priestess is clarified with a meeting. A meet up. A meeting of the minds. Okay. The balancing again happening within you. Um, the sword of power. To obtain love, you must give something in exchange. And it's also about, like, you could be have been dealing with, like, I, when justice comes out, I feel like it's truth is going to prevail, if there's any hidden truth. Um, and fairness in a situation. Karmic relationships, to are definitely clarified with the justice card. Okay? A lawsuit, even in your favor, comes out. Legal matters with the justice card. You could be dealing with somebody who works with the law or, you know, a lawyer or, or court reporter or I don't know. You know, those are all the why that's coming out here. What else? But I just feel like fairness and balance within a situation, balancing of your emotions. Yep. And two of cups coming out. So you fall in love with yourself, Libra, and then that's bringing in this beautiful connection, the two of cups. Ooh, lovies. Look at that. That's a mirror energy. Two of cups. I love it. What else with the two of cups? Oh, God. The lovers? That's the Gemini. Choices in love, even. Fairness in love. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You were struck by Cupid's arrow. Look at that up on the top there. Love at first sight. Two cups. Two cups becoming one. Whoa, whoa, the union of hearts, clarifying this at the end here. Are you kidding me? I love this shit. Come on, give me my two of cups. There's involvement. You're getting involved. You're making a decision to get involved more deeply with this, with the new person, with this union of hearts. You can't. There's so much. It's almost like momentum towards that. You ultimately trust it. It feels like sunshine. It feels good, right? Um, two of Cups. Trusting your intuition. There's a scarab here. It's called the magic of the scarab. See the scarab down there? Absolutely. Um, and this is a, a, a scarab comes out with ancient connections. Like I'm talking Egyptian roots. All right. So this is that. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Tenderness, attraction, affection, and collaboration. You can seduce by leaving yourself open to seduction. Ooh. And I see this very much. I, the lovers comes out when you have choices in love. Yes. Somebody had choices in love. Maybe you have choices in love right now. I've got the seven of swords as the underlying energy. I wasn't expecting that, Libra. So are you lying to yourself about a particular situation? This is the... In any tarot deck, it's something uh, uh, hidden being sneakiness or lying, okay? In this card, it's indifference. There's indifference in a situation here. There's indifference, okay? Back to back, not seeing eye to eye. But realize, too, the tulips there, how to tulip, like, one day the tulips aren't there, and then the next day they blossom, right? Lay the sword down. If there's a power struggle, lay the sword down. And stop lying to yourself. There's the two of wands right behind that coming together with somebody. The same passions, the one flame lit. Look at the tenderness, the playfulness under the table here. 
Yeah, you're drawing it in as you love yourself. Temperance, loves temperance, fill up your own cup, okay? Learning lessons of patience, absolutely. And Sagittarius energy coming in there as well. And I have Gemini and Cancer. Whew! And Leo. So it just depends on what you've got in your chart. But I'm going to get you a heart and soul card for your love reading today and um, leave it there. Remember, if you want your own personal private love reading, reach out to me. I am scheduling them. I'm a couple of days out right now. Not too bad. So just hook, just hook up with me either on Facebook or um, Instagram. You can email me. Although it's the fastest way is just to message me. I use Instant Messenger. I'm Mystic Gwen. Okay. Look at this passion. Look at this fire coming in. I'll tell you. It's inspired. A beautiful inspired idea floats through pathways of light waiting for the right moment to enter your mind and heart. This wonderful idea that stems from your soul will grow and blossom if you nurture it. Keep it safe with your inner world until it's ready to manifest in your outer world. A period of great fulfillment and accomplishment follows. Keeping it safe, sacred to your heart as a high priestess energy, by the way. Could have been a real dark time, but you were learning about you. This is a solar expansion. Yellow energy again. Sun is out here for you. Love falling all around you. Okay? And the fire, I just feel like fiery skies, like feeling so passionate about this connection. Like, look at this. It feels like everything's on fire. <laughs> and here too. And the star speaks to healing. Okay, healing, healing, healing. Uh, you are currently too close to see things clearly. Detach a little and you will start to see things from a higher perspective. By emotionally detaching from the situation, a simple solution can become clear. It's a highly, like, there, you've been involved in possibly, or maybe it was your part, I don't know, like, who, who, cross-watcher. There's a highly emotional situation here. And a fire in the sky, but the star, focus on the star, the healing that is happening. Remove yourself from a situation. Uh, absolutely, especially if it's intense. We're dealing with soul. They want me to get one more card. Okay. We're dealing with uh, eclipse season right now while I'm recording this. Yes. Eclipsing things out and new coming in. What else for Libra? What else for Libra? You want me to shuffle this again? Libra loves. There it is. Your intuition constantly senses the voice of spirit and conveys this through emotion and feeling. Spirit's great love and wisdom continuously flows through you like a stream of soft diamond light. Stop for a moment and feel this beautiful flow of energy. Allow it to permeate every part of you. You and spirit are one, entwined by invisible threads of love. And I just feel like this is like this entwinement, this, you are, even if you don't have this in your life right now, Libra, you are still connected, like entwined with this destined connection that you can't just, you just can't fucking even put words around it. It defies explanation. Pink talks about heart healing. Again, so much emotion. So much emotions involved in this situation. I'm speaking to somebody very emotion. I'm very sensitive, emotional person, an empath, a highly empathetic soul. Yeah, where you feel things super deep, and you've been in your emotions. You absolutely have been. But I see so much, so much beautiful like healing within these cards, you know. And the fires are the transformation, the old burning away, the new you coming through, Virgo. I said Virgo. I mean Libra. You got Virgo on your chart. What the hell? I don't know. Okay. I love you guys. All is purposeful. Mm-hmm. All is purposeful. Now the light is right there on my eyes. <laughs> Let's take these off. Give you a crazy look. <laughs> Thank you, Libras. I love you guys. I'm just really, I'm feeling your energy now. I feel like I have to go fan myself. Woo! You saw fires over there, lovies. Yes, keep loving yourself. Oh, keep fanning your own flames. I got hot flashes for you. <laughs> oh, you're always such a joy. Draw, uh, claim the reading if it's yours by dropping a comment below and continuing that energy.
it makes sense, doesn't not? Oh, shit, she's talking to me. I really like what she's got to say. I would really love this shit. Oh, yeah, I'm going to comment on it and then maybe even share it to pass that energetic love frequency out there. Cast your spell, Libra. Come on. I like to move it, move it. I don't know. I'm going now. Ah! Spirit said I sang the wrong song, so I'm going to clip this shit to the end of the video. Blinded by the light. <laughs> Wrapped up like a deuce. <laughs> All my love for you, Libra.